Welcome to JazzTime. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you like this watch and would like to purchase it at the lowest price anywhere online, click on the link in the description below to buy it at JazzTime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Cosmograph Daytona in platinum with the ice blue index dial reference 126 506. I'm going to talk to you about a little bit about the history of the Daytona, then talk to you about where this watch stands in the lineup of other Daytonas, then talk to you about the case bezel dial bracelet movement, finally try it on and give you my thoughts. So let's start with the history. The Daytona was released in 1963, which, which puts it at approximately 60 years old. Now, when it first came out, it was also a 40 millimeter and chronograph so that has not changed and the basic look looks more or less like it looks today however it's gone through massive amounts of change as you, changes as you could imagine for any watch or any product that has been out for 60 years now the same idea just like a porsche looks more or less the same with the similar headlights as it did you know a long time ago 50 years ago but there's been massive changes throughout the years and that's no different for the watches. Okay, now I can't go through every little detail about the history because it's not a history lesson, it's a review on this particular watch, but I'll just tell you briefly about the modern Rolex, uh, modern Daytona. From in the 90s until 2000, they had a five digit reference, which on the steel version was 16520. That was the, uh, that used the Zenith movement and it had a steel bezel. From 2000 to approximately 2015, the reference number went to a six digit reference. It had a thicker bracelet, still a steel bezel or, uh, uh, or a metal bezel, I should say. Uh, the old movement, which was a 4130. And that reference was 16520. Or sorry, sorry, 116520, which makes it six digits. And then in, in 2000, approximately 16, they came out with the ceramic bezel version of it, uh, which is reference 116500. And that reference uh, lasted all the way until 2023 and was finally replaced in 2023 with the reference uh, 126500. We're talking about the stainless steel ones here. Okay. And, um, and then there's some differences in the newer version, which I'll get to when we talk about the specifics. Okay. That's a little bit about the history. And I guess I could say that the reason, uh, one other thing I should say about the history of it is that uh, the Daytona got its name when Rolex was trying to decide whether to put it as Le Mans or Daytona. They just, they went with Daytona, as I understand, because America was, and it still is, their largest market. So they figured if they named it after Daytona, as opposed to Le Mans, that would be more recognizable and would sell more watches, which they were absolutely correct. And it's a good thing they named it after the Daytona because 60 years later, it is their most prestigious line of sports watches and they make the most variations of it. They, it does the best, it, it has the highest price tag. And in my opinion, also looks the best of all their sports watches. Okay, now let's move on to where this watch stands in the lineup of other Daytonas. What you're looking at here is a Platinum Daytona. They only make the Platinum Daytona in two variations. The one that you're looking at here, which has an ice blue index marker. That means that there's no gemstone on these index markers here. They're luminescent. And they make the exact same watch with a baguette diamond index marker. The same dial, everything's the same. The only difference is that the hour markers, instead of being luminescent, they are actually made of baguette diamonds. Okay, so more or less, uh, you can pretty much say they only make one Platinum Daytona. Okay, now with that said, uh, where does this watch stand in the lineup? Well, I believe, and I believe if uh, uh, Rolex believes the same thing, that the Daytona is their most prestigious line. In fact, the Platinum Daytona is the most prestigious of their prestigious line. Why do I say so? Well, you can just simply look at the price. The watch retails for around uh, a little under $80,000 as of 2024. And you cannot buy it at the authorized dealer. You have to have a massive spend history with them 
in the hundreds of thousands easily before you would even be considered for one of these. And even then it would be years until you could get it. Or by the way, you could go to jazztime.com and buy it immediately by clicking on the link in the description below, which is why we make this video so that you can watch this at home, decide if you like it and simply buy it. So with that said, the Platinum Daytona is Rolex top of the line, top, top, top of their line sports watches not only in terms of price, but I believe also in terms of exclusivity, look even more prestigious than the stainless steel version. And it also has a big delta or change above the retail price that it goes for on the secondary market. So, and it's always above retail. It wasn't always above retail before, but in the last few years it has been. Okay, now let's, uh, that's where this watch stands in the lineup. Now. Rolex is making many different variations of the Daytona. They make it in almost every material, rose gold, yellow gold, white gold, stainless steel, steel and uh, yellow gold. The only thing they don't make it in is steel and rose gold. They make it with different bezels, dial, uh, dials, bracelets, etc. They have tons, they have like, I don't know, like 70 different variations or actually maybe like 30 different variations. And, but anyways, they make a lot of variations and all they have tons of gemstone variations that, uh, that they've made in the past as well. So there's a lot, okay? Uh, so that is the where it stands in the lineup. But I believe what you're looking at here is the most modern and the most prestigious and and uh, basically the best Daytona that money can buy or sports watch, in fact, that Rolex makes that money can buy at the moment. Okay, so now let's move on to the case. The case is a 40 millimeter platinum case and it uses an oyster case which has these sloped edges that gives it a racing look to it as opposed to for example the submariner which has a more block or sharp edged case which does not really look very streamlined if you look at this case it does look very streamlined and uh and that makes sense because this watch has racing heritage the case is a monoblock middle case with a screw down case back and winding crown and they've kept it at 40 millimeters. They have not changed it. I believe that's the right call. And when you see it on my wrist, wrist which I have a large wrist or medium to large wrist, I would say 7.5 inches. And you can see it does not look too small on me. In fact, it looks just right. Okay, that's the, the case. And if I turn it on its side, you'll see it's a, a nice slim 12 millimeters, which is uh, relatively thin considering that this watch has a lot of complications, not a lot, but one complication which is uh the chronograph and they can still keep it at the same size as the as the day chest okay now let's move on to the bezel now i want to tell you the bezel is very special in this case because this reference number 126506 replaces the old reference number of 116506 in 2023 and the bezel is one of the main things that has changed there's another few things and i'll mention them when i get to it but the first is that the bezel changed. Now, what has changed about the bezel? It's still a chestnut brown ceramic bezel, which allows the bezel to not get scratched easily because ceramic does not scratch easily, but it has some extra feature, which is if you look at the edge of this bezel, you'll notice that the bezel itself, there's an insert and that insert goes onto a platinum section. So this side right here is platinum. Before, the entire bezel, including the uh, the holder for the insert, was made of plant uh, was made of brown ceramic. Now you might think, well, it's better. No, actually, it didn't look better. It made the watch look a little bit too bulky. Now it looks more vintage with this insert and the bezel holder as platinum. In my opinion, as well as Rolexes, it makes the watch look more streamlined, compact, um, and less bulky because the ceramic actually kind of made it look a little bit bulky. Okay. So that, that is the bezel. All right. And it's, by the way, it's the only Daytona that has a brown ceramic bezel. All the other ones have either a black or some other color, but not brown. And they're, they're reserving the brown for their most prestigious line. They're not using it on any other watch okay that's the bezel now let's move on which is changed from before 
Now let's look, look at the dial. Now the dial has also changed from the previous generation. The, the dial now, now if you look at it, the color actually is the same. It has this uh, ice blue uh, look to it, which is a very beautiful look. They reserve this ice blue for only their platinum watches. Now you might say, well, they have a Tiffany blue. Yes, they do have a Tiffany blue, but the Tiffany blue is, uh, is a different shade of blue. They, they reserve this ice blue for only their platinum watches. Okay. All right. Now let's move on. Oh, let's not, not move on. Let's say what is different between this one, this dial and the old dial. First, the hour markers. Now I don't have another one to compare it to, but I will just tell it to you. And if you want to compare it, you can go to our website at jazztime.com or click on the link in the description below. First thing you'll notice is the hour markers that are longer and skinnier before they were shorter and fatter now if you if you shine the light at it it still has the same beautiful chroma light display which allows the watch to be easily legible at night that has not changed by the way if you have the diamond uh index version by the way you can't see the watch at night so that is kind of a negative about having diamonds on the dial as opposed to these luminescent hour markers Okay, but nonetheless, the lumin luminescent hour markers are longer and skinnier. The second thing that is different about the dial is that the subdials, this, which are these little green, uh, three sub small dials, the brown part, the ring that goes around, is thinner. The size of the ring itself is the same, but the ring that goes around it, this brown color, is thinner. On the older version, it was thicker, probably to match and, and uh, be proportional to the bezel. But be honest, it did not look good. It looked like um, it just looked too fat before and did, it just did not look proportional. Now that they've slimmed down the bezel as well as the subdials, it makes the watch more legible. It frees up some space on the dial. And in my opinion, and as well as Rolex's opinion, because they changed it, it makes the watch look better. So there you have it. And I, I believe this is the final evolution of the watch. I really don't see how they can make this look any better. So I think they're going to keep this version for a very long time. If you look at how long they kept the last generation, it was only 2016 until 2023, which is not that long. That's a uh, like a, an eight year run, seven or eight year run, as opposed to the previous one, which was around for like 15 years. So I believe that this version, the, the last version was was an intermediary uh and then this one that they have now is going to be here for 10 to 15 years so if you were going to buy this watch now would be a good time because you could buy it and you could wear it for the next 10 15 years and it would still be the most modern uh top of the line daytona okay that is the dial now let's move on to the the uh to the bracelet the bracelet is basically the same it's just an oyster bracelet they don't make the platinum in any other bracelet so the platinum bracelet has an oyster bracelet and it's very nice there's really no change it has a five millimeter comfort extension and what can i say it's just your standard oyster bracelet which is not a bad thing because they because the oyster bracelet is is amazing okay now let's let's move on to the movement now this one is also a gigantic change that rolex has done as you can see the movement you can see right through it you can literally see the movement and it is the first time that rolex has ever opened up the case back for it to be seen on the back and why would they do that well they would do that on their most prestigious watch which is the daytona that's why i said that daytona is their most prestigious in fact the platinum daytona is the most prestigious because they do not open up the case back on their other daytonas such as their rose gold or steel or oyster flex none of those open up the case back except the platinum daytona which means that the platinum daytona they view as their most prestigious one and it has a different caliber than the older daytona that it replaces the old caliber was a 4130 this is a 4131 and it has this beautiful gold rotor and a very nice finish to it now some people a very small minority have said well the finish is not as good as for example Patek Philippe or Audemars Piguet but at the same time you know it's not as expensive as any of those either of those two brands I just mentioned uh, so you can't really expect 
you know, a, like a platinum watch at, at Patek or AP is going to cost upwards of 100000 easily. And this watch is, uh, you know, it retails for 80, 000, less than 80000 at Rolex. So you can't really expect them to match the same finish as a watch that is way more expensive. Okay. So anyways, the it has a power reserve of 72 hours. and But nonetheless, look, the, the movement still looks absolutely beautiful. And it's a Rolex uh, so you really can't go wrong with it. All right, now let's go ahead and try this watch on and give you my thoughts. I've kind of told you uh, all throughout my thoughts, but I'll tell it to you again here. My wrist size is 7.5 inches. I weigh 200 pounds and I'm six foot tall. And as you can see, this 40 millimeter watch does not look too big or too small on me. In fact, it looks just perfect. The Daytona is my favorite Rolex sports watch and it probably would be many others. I also believe that the Platinum Daytona is the absolute top of the line. There is nothing higher than this. So for that reason, I have to say this is my favorite Rolex sports watch. And if you're lucky enough to be able to afford one of these, you know, uh, you should count yourself very lucky. And I think now would be a great time to buy it because as I said, the watch still has probably between 10 and 15 years of life uh, span left in it before they change the, the reference number and that means you could wear the latest and greatest for a very long time all right and uh, if you want to buy this watch please go to jazztime.com and click or click on the link in the description below if you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video you can just click below on show more to see the full description then you can check the link next to model as seen in video click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details if you're watching on a mobile phone you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description if you like this video please give us a thumbs up if you would like to share this video with your friends you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists if you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.